Sada here. Today I'm going to explain the Gulf of Mexico ecosystem. <sighs> First of all, the Gulf's producers are phytoplankton and sargassum. Phytoplankton are microscopic, microscopic organisms that live in watery environments, both salty and fresh. They get energy from the sun. Sargassum are brown seaweed that live underwater. They also get energy from the sun. The primary consumers in this ecosystem are <sighs> Stay hydrated, kids. <clears throat> Alright, where was I? Okay. Here. Right here. The primary consumers in this ecosystem are sea slugs, brown trip, and eastern oyster. Sea slugs are some marine invertebrates that look like slugs that are on land. Also, sea slugs eat phytoplankton. Brown trip are tiny invertebrates that have tiny legs and long antennae. They eat phytoplankton and sargassum. Eastern oysters are tiny organisms with a hard shell, soft insides and are also invertebrates. Eastern oysters eat phytoplankton. Now let's talk about the secondary consumers. The secondary consumers of this food web are squids and starfish. Squids are 10-legged invertebrates that can change color. Squids eat shrimp. Starfish are marine invertebrates that usually have five legs slash arms. Starfish eat oyster, eastern oysters in this food web. Now we will move on to a tertiary consumer of the Gulf of Mexico food web, the bull shark. The bull shark is a species of shark that lives to prey on animals near the shore of a river or lake. Bull sharks eat squid. The only decomposer of this ecosystem is bacteria. Bacteria are microscopic organisms that feed off dead organisms. Now we move on to the scavenger of this ecosystem. The scavenger of this ecosystem is the isopod. No more water. The isopod is an invertebrate that feeds off dead animals carcasses. Last but not least, we have abiotic factors. The abiotic factors of this ecosystem are rocks, water, sunlight, oil, and temperature. Rocks are objects that often contain many necessary nutrients. They are weathered by the wind and water, which makes the salt from the flow down into the ocean and turns water salty. Because of this, all saltwater organisms interact with rocks. Water is needed for all living creatures to survive. Water is always recycled. All marine life need water because it is their shelter. This means all marine life interacts with water. Sunlight comes from the sun, obviously, and gives energy to the producers of the food web, which feed the other organisms. This means all Plants need sunlight and interact with it. Oil is an abiotic factor that does not benefit any marine creatures. Oil comes from humans because of oil spills. This oil kills an animal nearby. All organisms near the oil spills interact with the oil. Temperature is one of the most necessary factors in the food web. If it is too hot, producers may die, leading to the death of other organisms. If it is too cold, producers may die, leading to the death of other organisms. Thank you, everybody, for listening to my explanation of Gulf of Mexico food web. Thank you, guys.